This is Pit Fighter, the latest underground sport. There's no shortage of action in this no holds barred Street Fighter, except for when the opponent grabs the power pill and you start hauling ass for your life. Control one of three skilled masters, though you'll probably go with the one that can bend space and time and pit the opponent in stasis. Challenge street tough fighters are insanely addicted to picking up items. Using different button combinations, command your fighters to infinite loop the f out of your opponent. We've combined digitized graphics of live action and realistic sounds, all from the original arcade hit, to bring you the ultimate in Genesis Gaming! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Pit Fighter was released in the arcade in 1990. It would then get multiple home ports, including a Sega Genesis port in 1991. The arcade game itself was very impressive. It was one of the first fighting games to use digitized actors and it was a really fun experience for its time. It wasn't perfect by any means and it did get overshadowed once Mortal Kombat hit the scenes. As for the Sega Genesis version, it's surprisingly solid. The music and sound do their job well enough, but the graphics definitely took a nosedive. But when you get past the smaller sprites, you might come to realize that the gameplay is incredibly accurate to the arcade version. It has the moves, characters, most of the stages, and of course it even has the same glitches. I could see someone enjoying this port if they loved the original arcade game. In any case, let's go over the controls. All you need is a 3 button controller for this game. The controls are A which is punch, B is kick, and C is jump. You can also press A to pick up weapons and you will be able to perform extra actions by pressing certain buttons together. Let's go over them. A plus B will perform a throw. This will lift your opponent up, then you can throw them before they try to escape. B plus C will execute a jump kick forward. A plus C will defend, but for Ty, it will instead make him lean back. Down plus A plus C will make you duck. And of course, you can perform your super move by pressing all three buttons. These have no limit, so you can perform them as many times as you want. Pit Fighter is a beat em up with an emphasis on fights that take place on one screen. Once you defeat your opponent, the match will end and you will move on to the next stage. What can make this game difficult is the fact that there are no health pickups and you do not regain health upon completing a stage. Therefore, this game is more like a gauntlet where you must finish all stages before you run out of lives. Thankfully, there are some tricks you can use that will make this easier. Our characters can perform a dodge by pressing left or right twice. Unfortunately for Kato, it will make him jump instead. Otherwise, you can use this to dodge through opponents and hit them with a back attack. This is done by pressing punch with your back turned to them. A trick that all characters can use is attack cancelling. This is done by alternating between punch and kick. Doing this will cancel your animations, allowing you to attack incredibly fast. This is even more useful if used while the opponent is coming at you from above or below. And of course I have to mention the infinite loops. Tai and Kato can cancel their super move by dodging. If they immediately perform their super move again, this will immediately cancel the dodge itself, which will lead into an infinite loop if done correctly. It's easier to do as Kato, but I do think that it's harder to do on stages with a lot of items. It might be due to the lag changing of the timing, but I can't say for certain. Lastly, there is a glitch that Tai can do. It's possible to do with Kato, but it's not as consistent. If Tai lands his back attack and it launches the opponent, he can freeze them by landing the first hit of his super move while they're midair. If successful, he can then proceed to keep elbowing them to keep them frozen. It might be harder to perform against certain characters, but does allow him to blow through the game at ludicrous speeds. I know I haven't gone over the weapons and items, but I'll save that and more for the long play. If you want a full in-depth guide that goes over everything, you can check out the link in the description below. With that said, on to the long play. Alright and welcome to my playthrough of Pit Fighter for the Sega Genesis. Now I was going to do a no death run of this game, just go through the game as Ty and beat it without losing. 
But I figured it might have been more interesting if I instead used all of the characters because when you use a life in this game, you uh, have the opportunity the opportunity to switch, and that's what you see happen here. And of course, I am commentating over this playthrough. Now the level. Um, when you play with a friend, it becomes a two v two game. Like you face against two opponents, and you can actually adjust the difficulty of each. So. Just in case I put both on 8 because there is a fight where you have to face two people at once, even if you're alone. So for this playthrough, I am going to be starting with Ty, trying to showcase his glitches and his infinite combos. I should mention that I did do this run a few days ago, so I don't completely remember what happened. I do know um the main stages where like I lost a life on and oh boy, the end of this playthrough will be very interesting indeed. But yeah, what can I say about Ty? He is easily the best character in the game. He's just very explosive. His glitch is phenomenal. Like, I remember watching like a Tool Assisted uh, playthrough of him. He is just a monster in the right hands. Now, I mentioned earlier that you don't get health upon completing a stage. And, uh, oh, oh, I got the glitch. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So, if you're trying to beat this game without losing and you take that much damage from the first stage, I'd recommend you just reset. But you know, this is just a casual run, so I didn't bother with that. But if I was trying to beat this without losing, I would have reset the game right there. Because that's just way too much health lost on the first fight. Okay, so Southside Gym. Realistically, all you need to do is attack cancel while he has the knife, because uh, the thing with the knife is that it makes him attack slower and it doesn't have as much range as his uh, actual attacks. So yeah, the best way to deal with him is just like stick to attack canceling by alternating between punch and kick while he has the knife, because he's much easier to fight that way. If you try to fight him without the knife, he's a bit more difficult. And I don't know if I'll, I'm pretty sure I just stick to his hand something for this fight. But yeah, I think Buzz can take advantage of this, Kato can as well. So if you stick to that, you should be good. There we go, beautiful. So far it's looking pretty good. So I think it's match five where I lose the life on purpose, but hopefully I get to, uh, I'm pretty sure I showed that glitch one more time. Oh, the grudge match. I get to talk about this. Uh, it's really simple. Every two fights, you have to knock down a... You have to do a mirror match. And you have to knock down the opponent twice. Uh, knock them down twice, I should say. Really easy to do. Just elbow them by going through them. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow, I actually did the glitch right there. <laughs> so, if you're trying to go for a score run, realistically, what you want to do is... um. You want to perform the freeze glitch here and try to get as many hits in as possible. But there is a timer in the grudge match, I think. Uh, I tried it in two players. I don't know if this is the case when you're facing the CPU, but whatever the case may be, you can get some scores in there. Okay, Angel. As Ty, you can just do this. Now, it is surprising that this also works in the arcade version. But yeah, since his block is a lane, you can just wait for Angel to get close because... When you like lean or duck in this game, the opponent will go for this like haymaker kind of attack where they attack down. But for Angel specifically, it's too slow. So right when she gets in range, you want to hold A plus, like pretty much this entire fight, you hold A plus uh, C. Oh, I think I show off the power pill here too. Cool. So realistically, what you want to do is, uh... oh, did I get the glitch? I did. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you want to hold A plus C to lean. Hopefully I'm not incorrect on that. And right when she gets close enough in your range of your special move, you just, while holding A plus C, you just press B and it will activate the special move. Okay, CC Rider. He's one of the tougher opponents, I think. And I don't know if I go for the glitch here, if I go for the infinite loop. I got it again. I'm such a genius. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised they didn't try to beat you to, like, I think at this point, I probably, oh wow, never mind, <laughs> exposed. <laughs> I really thought I got the glitch all the way through, but I think I messed up the timing, because I just stopped hitting with the elbow. But yeah, uh, Kai is easily the best character in this game. If you're, if you're trying to beat the game on one life, he is, like, the, the fastest option at the very least. I think Kato is a little easier, due to his infinite being easier to do, but Tai is... Without a doubt, the best character. I just get some knockdowns here. It's really easy. There we go. Beautiful. Now, 
up to here, I'm going to... Yeah, it's this part where I lose life on purpose because I want to switch to Kato. And then after I use Kato, I'll switch to Buzz. So I'm going to go on mute for now until that happens. Okay, and now I'm going to switch to Kato. Uh, he has one of the easier infinites in this game because it does multiple hits. And I don't know why I was taking long to decide there, but um, yeah. I guess I could use this time to talk about uh, Eddie and the items. So, gee, that did so much damage. What the hell? Okay. Anyways, uh, Chainman Eddie, you actually can't pick him up unless you have the power pill. But without it, like, your character will struggle to pick them up. Even, for some reason, even Buzz can't pick them up. He actually has to use his, uh, special move to do, like, a special throw in order to throw Chain Man Eddie. But that's fine. Kato can just do his infinite against Chain Man Eddie, and since he's really huge, it's not hard to do. And yeah, I guess I should mention the items. Um, all items have a durability. You can only use them for so long. When it comes to the drawable ones, like the barrels and, like, the canisters, if you're close to the opponent and you use it, it will break instantly. Like, at least that's how it usually works. But if you're far away, you'll draw it at them, and there's no guarantee that it, like, breaks. So, when it comes to the Power Pill, which is a really good item since it increases your attack and, your, and defense, and it lets you pick up the big characters like Eddie, you want to grab the barrel and try to slam it on the opponent's head so that you can quickly pick up the pill while they're down. And your Heavy Metal, um, I don't know what his deal is, he's really obsessed with picking up these cans, but if you can do something like this, then you're... Wow, I dropped the combo, that's embarrassing. Again, it could be due to the um, supposed lag, because when this item's on screen, I... I don't know, it feels harder to do these infinite loops, like, it's either dropping my inputs or it's too fast, I can't say for sure. And now it's time for another grudge match, so... With Kato, the way I do this is uh, I press uh, B plus C, which executes a jump kick. But the thing with this uh, kick is that it's very slow, so what you want to actually want to do is you want to press B plus C and then immediately press kick, and you get like an instant jump kick. It's really good. So as long as you do that, you should be able to get through the grudge match really quickly. And yeah, and I think you can also uh, use the infinite combo, the super combo loop, to uh, form farm points. And yes, that is the max warrior. He's the guy we're going after. All right, so now we're facing Kara again. I'm gonna go for the power pill in this fight. There we go. So I don't think I mentioned this in the intro, but when it comes to like animations in general, like whether you're moving, attacking, picking up the power pill and you go into that pose, always try to dodge because like I said, I think I know I for sure mentioned that dodging lets you like cancel the animation of your super move, but it also lets you cancel the animations of like poses and all that. So you might see that later with Buzz, because he does strike a pose when he does a super move, but we're not there yet. I'm, ha I'm surprisingly having a hard time with this character, oh my. But um, yeah, dodging is really good, it allows you to get out of poses, because when you pick up the power pill, you just get stuck in this pose, and once, like, the enemies can still hit you during it, so if you want to avoid damage, you have to dodge immediately. Other than that, not too bad, and I guess it's fine that I'm taking some hits here since I do want to switch characters soon. And yeah, the longer you go through the game, like, each stage you get more money, which doesn't really have a purpose, it's just score, it's not like you get extra lives or anything, so... It is what it is. Oh wow, he got, he got a few hits in there. So yeah, um, the stick, uh, not a big fan of it, but... You can't use it, I guess. I don't know why I messed with it here. Pretty sure. There we go. So yeah, Kato, he's one of the easier characters to use. Uh, the easier characters to use because um, like 
I didn't sh get to show it unfortunately, but with Ty, when you do his super loop, um, you have to cancel the first hit to get it to work. So it's very difficult if you don't play this game often or if you're not used to like moving that fast. Yeah, I think it's here that I switch character on purpose. Okay. So now I'm gonna switch to Buzz. Pretty sure I just get a hit. Oh jeez, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now I get to talk about Buzz, aka the worst character of the game. And the reason why he's bad is because like he just like I don't know. I don't want to just say oh it's because he doesn't have a loop, infinite loop, like Kato and Ty, but that is pretty much the case. Like it's kind of dangerous playing the game as him. You have to be really uh careful on how you do it. And unfortunately in this playthrough, I kind of forgot my straps as Buzz, so you gotta see that mess later on. But it's alright. So Buzz is supposed to be the slower but powerful character. His super move is a throw, like he would try to grab the opponent and he'll perform like either a power uh power driver or a body slam. He can combo into this from like a attack. It is possible. Like even a back elbow. He actually left me up. But yeah, Buzz is just really weak in this game compared to the other characters. There we go. So hopefully I actually get to like show like okay, despite how weak he is, yet he still has stuff he can What the hell happened? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. There we go. So yeah, he can do back elbow into the super, it's really good. So road Ooh. So yeah. He does have some gimmicks. Like he can still roll through, go for that elbow, and then Ooh, look at that throw. Like really grabs him from the sky. So, oh yeah, that's right, he's one of the few characters that, uh, if you press, uh, all three buttons while the opponent is down, you get this, like, slam attack, and it does a bit more than the other down attacks in this game. I don't like using it because, uh, oh boy, did he, uh, did I get the pill or not? What's going on? <laughs> jeez. Oh, jeez. Look, look at that. Finally. Like, what took me so long to pick it up? Um, that is another thing that, that can happen, I guess. Um, when there's an item below you and you're trying to like attack cancer or something, the character would just try to pick it up, which can be very obnoxious. But yeah, um, Buzz is still a decent character. He's just like nowhere near as explosive as the other two. No pain, no gain. This is the hardest stage of the game, even harder than the last freaking boss. And you're about to see why. That's why. <laughs> two. Wow, he was on the barrel. Okay, that's new. So there are two Chainman Eddies, and um, what I'm supposed to be doing here is attack canceling and luring them, um, luring them through the Y axis. I kind of forgot about that. At, like during this fight, I don't know why I tried to go for like risky strats. I wanted to um, like again, I'm supposed to attack cancel here to keep it safe, like just perform a few attack cancels and run. Instead, I kept going for like the roll into like back elbow and throw, despite the fact that it's two opponents that I can easily get like charged in. Because, jeez, because uh, his their charge it does a lot of damage. You can't like ignore that. So another thing I should mention, I don't know if them hitting each other during this part, like while you're about to continue, counts as them taking damage. So that's why I kind of stalled a little bit, just in case. But to keep this playthrough safe, I did switch to Kato. And yes, I do stick to attack canceling because, I mean, does it look like I can, I can perform the infinite loop here? <laughs> no, I can't, because if you try to perform the infinite loop on one eddy, the other would just interrupt it. So you gotta keep it simple, just stick to attack canceling. Please tell me I get the pill. That sucks. Oh boy. Okay, this is looking really bad really bad. <laughs> like I'm starting to second guess myself if I actually got through this game. So, why'd I walk into him? So yeah, when they get the power pill, just run away. Um don't run for too long though, because I didn't <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, it looked like a JPEG flying across the screen. Oh, okay, alright, I'm back. Then relax. So, alright, got. <laughs> Come on, jeez. What's going on here? Alright, so. What was I talking about? Okay, cool, I got the infinite loop. So, yeah, it's safe to do the, the loop when there's one Eddie left. Um. What was I just talking about? I just. <laughs> that really threw me off guard. Uh. 
So yeah, you... <laughs> Did I really forget what I was going to say? I, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. So if you take too long to attack the opponent, like if you just keep running away for like 18 se about 18 seconds, the audience will actually boo you and you lose health. So you can actually just lose a life from embarrassment, I guess. It's kind of funny when it happens. All right, final boss. Uh, I only got two hit points left, so you better believe I'm going to resort to the infinite loop to save this run. And I dropped it. That's embarrassing. Okay. I'm pretty sure I get through this. Like, I know I wouldn't... <laughs> Okay, this is way too close. Like, granted, it's not like it's a no death run or anything, but like, like if I lose here, that's it. Like, it's back to the beginning of the game. So I'm pretty sure I make this count. Yeah, there we go. Wait, oh, okay, I dropped it. I'm making this way too close than it needs to be. But yeah, this is the Ultimate Warrior. He is similar to Chain Man and Eddie. You can't pick him up, but if you use entire care, you can still infinite loop, uh, perform the infinite loop. And coming soon should be the end of the game. I'm gonna finish it with style. Ah, oh, they did the last at the end. Alright, and that was Pit Fighter and the Sega Genesis. What can I say? Um, I like this game. I think as a port, it's like scaringly accurate. It's like, I was surprised on how accurate it is to the arcade version. And yeah, like, if you like the arcade version, you would definitely like this one, despite, like, you know, the limitations and the graphics and all that. I do think, uh, there is another version of Pit Fighter that I don't want to talk about, and I'll never play it. But, that would be our secret, I guess. But yeah, I think, as a port, is great. Uh, as for my personal opinion on Pit Fighter, I think it's alright. It's definitely not something I'd play a lot, but it is a fun game. Like, if you want to play something casually, then this is definitely the one. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my long play, and with that said, I'll see you later.